Hey there, Maniacs and viewers. You're watching the Main Man channel. It's not just a name, it's a way of life. You got to improvise, adapt, and overcome each and every day just to make it in this cruel old world. Been a little while since I said that. Been a little while since I did any content, actually, at all. Uh, just had my YouTube channel that has been deleted for two years reinstated. It's a surprise. Uh, so it's going to take me a while to get back in the swing of things. Also, recently, a few months ago, all the content was deleted from my second YouTube channel that I started up, the backup channel that I was trying to uh, get going. Now I've changed that time, uh, that channel's, excuse me, now I've changed the name of that channel to the Main Man Arms. And on the Main Man Arms channel, it's going to be strictly related to it's going to be strictly gun-related content, nothing else. On the Main Man channel, it's going to continue to be a variety channel like it was, but even more in-depth and more into a lot of different variety of content. Uh, but the Main Man Arm channel will be strictly guns content. The Smile channel, which is the Smile channel right now. The Main Man channel, the Main channel, it's going to be variety content. So this video here is a re-release of one of my more successful videos. One of the first videos I ever filmed. And it's just a rough tabletop review that I wasn't really prepared for of the Glock 19 Gen 5. And even though it was an early video, a rough video, I didn't really know how to edit or anything like that. Uh, still really don't, but uh, a little better now. Uh, this is one of my favorite videos, and uh, it's one of the best videos on the channel. It's got the most views. It's got like 18,000 views, and uh, I hope you enjoy it, and like I say, subscribe to both channels if you want to. Uh, if you want strictly re uh, gun-related content, you're going to be uh, subscribing to the Main Man Arms channel, but the links to uh, both channels will be in the description of both places I released this. We're just going to test the waters, see what happens, get back into the swing of things, and I'll actually start filming some new content pretty soon. Thank you. We're going to do a tabletop review on this OCK pistol. Haha, uh -huh, I know, that was funny. We're going to do a tabletop review on this Glock pistol. It is a Glock 19 Generation 5, and I'm about to open it up and show you what we get with it. I don't have everything in it. I've got some stuff in my range bag, and probably in my little gunsmithing toolbox. So it's probably why I don't have everything in it right now. But let's just go ahead and open this thing up and see what we got in it. I did just get off work. My hands might be a little dirty, but they ain't gonna be nowhere near as bad as the last time when I was working on that pool pump. All right, as you see here, all right, this is my carry holster. It is a Kydex USA. And I carry this Glock 19 Gen 5 pretty regular. Uh, not all time, but pretty regular. And uh, this is a good comfortable holster to carry it into the four o'clock position. Uh, they're about 40 bucks on Amazon. Sometimes you can get them 35, you know, a little cheaper. But this one's got the stars and stripes on. I know it's kind of hard to see it, but uh, they are kind of like painted on it in black, a little bit darker black. But it's pretty cool. All right. Let's get into the gun. Now the gun, the Glock 19 Gen 5, actually comes with three mags. One of them, of course, is in my range bag. The two I've got in here are my two carry mags, the two I'm using when I do carry this thing. And of course, I got hollow points in it. And you got your 15 round mags, that's your standard Glock 19. So you got 15 plus one capacity if you want to keep, if you want to do the uh, 15 plus one. All right, anyway, of course, it comes with your speed loader. This thing right here comes in very handy loading up these mags. I love it. It's just your basic Glock one, and they do break. I've had a few of them break over the years, so uh, if you take in a, go on eBay, you can get one of these for about five bucks, and they come in handy. Anyway, so we're gonna clear the firearm. There's not one in the chamber right now, but we are gonna clear it. You'll notice my trigger is in the back position. So, all right, I am gonna drop the mag. Mag drops real well. Put the ammo out of the way. And I'm gonna show clear. Gun is clear. 
And it's safe to check a dry fire. I don't mind dry firing a clock every now and then. Uh, that gun's clear. But anyway, so there you have it. Your Glock 19 Gen 5. Pretty cool, huh? All right. So, I got to go ahead and say, I'm not 100% Glock right now, but I'm about 95% Glock when it comes to a pistol. I love how these things feel. I love how they shoot. I love the simplicity of them. It's a striker fired. It's the original. I mean, it may, it may not be the original striker fired, but it's probably the best striker fired pistol on the market. You can't mess up this design. This design is awesome. Okay. A lot of people call them a block because every one of them are a bit blocky. So what led me to buy this, I didn't know if I was going to get a Gen 4 or Gen 5. I kind of got my heart set on the Gen 5 because it has the Marshman barrel in it. So the Marshman barrel is supposed to be more accurate and you can shoot you lead reloads in it and everything and it does real well. So I was kind of leaning towards the Gen 4 too because it's a bit cheaper. You know, I could get the Gen 4 for about 450 when I was knew I was going to have to pay around about six for the Gen 5 at the time. So I was kind of on the fence of it. And the reason I went with the 19, I like the way the 19 felt, especially the Gen 4 in my hand. So the 17, I've held a Glock Gen 4, 17, and uh, uh, Gen 3 and a Gen 2, you know, because they're about the same. They got those big old hand grips on them. And it just felt too blocky. It felt too big. It was like my angle of holding the gun just would not line up. It just, it just would not line up no matter what I did. So I liked how the 19 felt. So that influenced me on buying the 19. And the 19 is a little bit easier to carry. It's considered their mid-size model, but I consider it more of a full-size model. It might be slightly smaller than most of your full-size pistols. So, but... Now, my friend, he had a uh, Glock 19, actually, he had a Glock 17 Gen 5 that uh, he uh, was doing some trading with a boy with, and I love how that thing felt. So I'm probably going to end up with a Glock 19, I mean, a Glock 17 Gen 5, too, to have as just a, a gun, because I'm getting into this hangar here lately where I want to start collecting Glocks, so <laughs> I guess I'm going to start doing it. All right, but anyway, let's get back to this bad boy. This bad boy, I bought it. It was a celebration to myself. I had always wanted a Glock, and I never could scrape up the money to get one. Because of a special person in my life, who knows who they are, uh, they helped me get my life together where I could actually save up and make a purchase like this. So this one here I bought at Sportsman Warehouse for $620, and notice it has the night sights already installed. So it was six twenty plus tax. So it was close to seven. I paid for it. It was around Christmas time. I didn't get no sales or or any good deals on it. But I still think six twenty for this thing with nice sights already installed was pretty good because when I was calling all around to the local places, uh, they were five nine nine. They didn't have nice sights, or they were uh, six nineteen. Didn't have nice sights. You know. The only place I didn't check, and I do kind of regret it a little bit, is uh, Posey's Gun and Pawn in Cleveland, because they offer some really, really good deals on guns. But we'll get into that in a little bit. But anyway, Glock 19 Gen 5, you see you got, look at your slide release. Ambidextrous. So, that's cool. It's more of a slide stop, because I don't believe in slide release. I believe it is a slide stop for when you're working on your gun, or whatever, you know. I believe that's a slide stop. I don't believe it's safe to do this because 99 times out of 100, it may work, but then there'll be that one time it doesn't. I don't trust that to load my mag. I mean, to load my, uh, to put one in my barrel, you know. So I'd rather cycle around myself because this right here, in my opinion, works a hundred times out of a hundred if you grab a hold of it. It don't have slick hands like I just did. Which I made myself look like a fool there. <laughs> Let's try it again. That works a hundred out of a hundred as long as you get a good grip on that. And also, this thing is pretty cool because you got the flared end right here. 
and that's pretty neat for doing a fresh check or when you cycle your gun when you clean it or anything like that that's pretty neat and it goes in the holster easy and it's just a cool gun it's really good shooting I like them night sights on it uh, I mean there ain't a whole lot you can say about it. it's block you know it's a good gun anyway so what we're going to do here i'm going to take it down it takes down just like any glock and here's how i take down a glock a lot of folks take them down a little bit different but here's how i take it down so let's just cycle a few times we're going to dry fire it come back here we're going to pull the slide back about an eighth of an inch maybe a quarter of an inch after we do that we're going to take our takedown levers down then we're going to slide it forward so I'm not the camera over. all right that's how i do it a lot of folks will pull that trigger and uh, do it that way. And I think it works just fine. I think maybe on the older ones you have to do that. I'm not sure. Uh, Gen 5 block is the only one I've ever owned. So, you know. Anyway. So, you notice I have a different recoil spring in here. I put the uh, stainless steel guide rod and recoil spring. Uh, I'm just a fan of those. I mean, there's probably actually no need in having that in there, but I'm just a fan of them. I like them. Uh, yeah. I, of course, I've got my factory guy rod recoil spring in case something ever happens to this one. What got me on these was the Taurus G2C because polymer, the polymer guide rod spring, when I went about a thousand rounds through my G2C, my Taurus G2C, and uh, Anyway, it uh, it started bending and cracking on it, so that's why I kind of like these stainless steel ones. But anyway, let's get let's get back to it. All right, so pull down right here, release your guide rod spring, pull it out, pick your barrel up slightly, slide it forward, slide it back, and she's out of there. And that's that marksman barrel, guys. Notice the rifling might be a little bit different than some of them. I guess I don't know. I'm not really a Glock expert, I'm just now getting into them, but I know I love them. Alright, and uh, you got your basic striker fire and slide. This is a Glock. It's, it's cool. Alright, let's put that barrel back down in there. Right like that through. Slide it forward, bring it back. Put your guide rod spring in there. Slide it down all the way to the bottom. Well, that rounded out part is. Okay, then you know you got it in there. Line you. Line it back up on your rails here. Cycle it a few times. Dry fire check function. And she is good to go. All right, so let's check out the trigger on this thing. All right, honestly, with my experience with firearms, I don't know why anybody, unless you're in a competition, would hate a block trigger. I think they're awesome. Watch this right here. So, watch you take up. Take up is all the way out right there. I think she's going to break right about here. Right there, there's your break. Real easy, real light trigger pull. Now, that reset, this reset's awesome. I mean, maybe a quarter inch. And then, boom. Do that again. And she's ready again. Boom. I mean, you can't ask for better than that, in my opinion. Cool gun. All right. So, they also come with, which I don't have in here, I know, a lot of backstrap options. And it's connected to a tool that you can use to punch out this pin to put your backstrap on there. So, they call that the trigger housing pin. Anyway, I have got the big beaver tail on here because I got a big hand. And... The Glock, you notice how low the barrel is. I was kind of afraid if I did a lot of shooting with it, I might get pinched up here. I did one time with my G2 and uh, my G2C. And I don't want no more part of that. And I noticed that helped me grab it out of the holster better and it felt a lot better. It just felt my, fit in my hand a lot better. I could control that gun better and it was just better for me. So I put that big beaver tail on there and I love it. 
So, I mean, a lot of folks got different opinions of what they have on there. That's cool. Uh, the grips, these right here feel pretty good in my hand. I don't feel like I'm going nowhere. So, I'm satisfied with that. I don't need to change my uh, mag release, but I could if I wanted to. If I wanted to put it over here, if I was a lefty, or if I just wanted to do it the old Beretta style. So, I never really had a Beretta, but I had a knockoff of a Beretta. And I also like to do it, I, I like to drop that mag, the Hollywood style Martin Riggs, you know, you, you hit the mag release with your index finger. So it had the ambidextrous mag release on it. So I liked it like that. But now with the Glock, the way it's made in my hand, it's made for me to be over here kind of. So it's just better to hit with my thumb. And it would throw me way off if I move my finger back. It would change my grip. And when I went to go back shooting, it would change my accuracy, I think. But anyway. So there's my Glock 19 Gen 5. And it does come with a lock. It comes with a brush. I don't know what happened to me. I found this one in another kit. Well, when I bought this from Sportsman Warehouse, that little brush holder was not in there. So I added that myself. But it should come with a brush holder. So if you're buying this somewhere, make sure you got your lock, your brush holder, and everything is supposed to go with it. You three bags, don't let them try to short you none. You know, because I, a lot of the Glocks in the past come with two mags. This comes with three. Uh, a lot of some of the uh, budget Glocks, which we're going to talk about one of those very soon, like the Glock 43X, they come with two, unfortunately. But it is what it is. Well, anyway, I'm going to wrap this up. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you got any questions, comments, leave them with me. If you like my video, let me uh, give me a like. If you don't like my video, give me a dislike. Let me know what you don't like about it. Uh, I'm not perfect. I'm trying to learn here, and I'm trying to do a YouTube channel. I mean, it's, a, it's just something I've always wanted to do. I, well, at least for the past few years here. And uh, I think anybody can do it if they set their mind to it. And, uh, you know, but anyway, everybody have a great day. And I hope you enjoyed it. And check me out again. I'm going to have more content coming up. Thank you. Bye-bye.